All right, this time the quick speed shop. Check it out, I got a new hat. Where did I get it? Syracuse Nationals. I'm going there with the Model A truck right now. We're gonna hook it up to the dragster and pull it up there. So uh, I'm gonna show you the trials and tribulations of hooking the dragster up. Then I'll drive it to Syracuse and we'll check things out there. I might have won an award, I don't know. I got this cool hat signed by Bad Chad and Jolene. If you wanna see all that and more, stay tuned right now. We're going to the Syracuse Nationals. Here we go with Syracuse Nationals prep. I am taking the dragster to the Syracuse Nationals and it's gonna be there Friday and Saturday. And I was gonna use my Studebaker truck to tow it, but I think we're gonna to attempt to tow it there with the Model A Hot Rod Shop truck because it will blow everybody's mind to have a vintage 50s style dragster on a single axle trailer being towed by a top uh, chop channel in the section Model A truck. I think that would blow everybody's mind. So I've been getting this thing ready to go off camera. I had the rear end leak, turns out the nuts are a little bit loose on the third member, I tightened all that up. I think it stopped the rear end from leaking. Um, I had bonded the aluminum diamond plate for these running boards to steel with some panel bond adhesive, but they flexed so much they'd started to crack and work loose here and there. So I had some uh, machine screws off camera uh, to hold those down so they don't whoop, come blowing off on the way back. But as you can see, the truck is filthy. I gotta wash it, check the oil, Check the air pressure. I've been driving it on and off to work and stuff, so I've been putting some miles on it here. Everything appears to be good. Um, I do have the hitch on the back, and it was wired for trailer lights, which I had zip tied out of the way. I pulled the connector down, so that's good. So right now, this is the night before Syracuse. I'm leaving first thing in the morning tomorrow, and I haven't attempted to tow with it yet, so we're going to do that right now. We're going to take it outside, rinse it off real fast, get some of the dirt off it, hook it up to the trailer, load a dragster on it, and then we're gonna try it and see how it goes. Here we go. Does this count as a cold start? Oh shoot, I didn't check the oil or nothing. I'll do that later. Let's wash and hook up the trailer. Washed off first here real fast. Put air in all the tires. They're all uh, a couple pounds low. I must not have checked after the winter. That's not good. But we'll, uh, we'll wash her off real fast here. And then I did clean the windshield the other day because it was filthy. Boom. All right. Let's uh, rinse her off right quick and then we'll go hook up the trailer. Doesn't have any driver or passenger side window, so that's a little problematic when you're cruising but it's not like rain all day or anything like that so we should be all set I just want to get some of the grunge off of this it's just dusty from cruising around the wheels are all dirty give her a little hose down all right that's good enough I'll dry it off and I'll go get the trailer What kind of debauchery is this? We'll see. Oop. Is it gonna work? I think so. We'll find out. I can barely tell the trailer's back there.
we'll try that. You guys are riding on the dragster. Tell me if anything falls off. After that test drive, I got on the way back, I got it up to like 60, which is as fast as I'm going to go on the back roads, and I think it's everything's okay. If I really, really hit the brakes hard, I can hear it trying to lock up the front tires, so it's still doing good braking on the front, and it's squatted the truck just a little bit in the back, which means it's got some weight on it. It's not, it, it towed really nice. I want, my road's kind of windy, and I had her going 55, and I didn't go into the real hard turn wide open because I didn't want to dump it, but on normal driving, I'm not. I'm confident that's going to be okay, and I'm going to take it easy getting there. I'm not going to tailgate anybody, obviously. That'd be bad, but I'm not. I've got very limited stop and go, just a few towns, and I'll take it easy there, and I think it's going to tow, tow okay. I just got to pay attention and leave good distances, not speed, and I think it'll be all right as long as nobody tailgates me and smashes into me. So I'm just going to check the tire pressure and stuff. This thing is strapped down good. Um, I gotta, I'm going to charge the battery on the dragster because I'm going to try to get this in the Nitro Alley at Syracuse and be able to fire it up. I put a couple of gallons of gas in it. And uh, yeah, so I got some rags taped in the carburetor so that'll stay good. Hopefully it doesn't rain on it. It's not supposed to rain tomorrow. Um, Everything's good. I'm going to check the oil in the truck and get that all ready to go. I just blew up the tires. I put in a jack and a spare and a cooler and some other stuff. Get the truck ready to go.
going to go. I'm going to go up to the left and make a left and make another know, left. Sir. Well, go ahead. Do what you got to do. I'm going to cruise. What do you mean? I'm going to go just like this. I'm dragging a trailer. There's a lot going on here with this trailer. Do I know anybody? That's a nice little ride. Look at that one. Look at yeah, that I've seen that before. Look you at the know green. that guy, do you? It was, it's always oh, there. Really. This is uh There's lots of action going on here. They all think I'm Richard Rollins. My shirt should be in my Richard. Dude, this whole place is filled right up. Oh, it's fucking crazy. Everybody's having fun. There's a Dupont jacket for sale. Let's go to your camper. We'll get rid of that cool. Can we put the cooler in a camper? Uh, yeah. Mine's outside, but you can put it inside. Don't matter. You're not going to rob it. Is this the uh, you can plate? You set it outside. I, you wanted a bag of ice, though, didn't you? Well, where's the ice? You got to go up that way. Oh, boy. Made it. Got the Model A Hot Rod Shop Truck here set up. Here's the nitro area. I found my buddy Ted. We're camping. So we're going to go in the display building. And uh, we'll leave this here, and we'll come back at 1 o'clock and fire it up. Uh, Five bucks, right out of the money. You're killing me. Wine bottles. Wine bottles. I'm going to check out some of these buildings. Let's go stand in line. I like to stand in line. You can do whatever you want. I'll just look at it from this. Look at this thing. My buddy Jordan's got the eight foot table. We can cut stuff like this out now and we can make all kinds of crazy crap. Every morning. Yeah, I'm starving too. The uh, listen, um, you got an outdoor vendor right near your car. Back out in the heat, you're killing me. I painted, I painted that truck cab. Actually, yeah. it's about the color of this Mercury. How many times did you hit it? Four coats, and I ran out of paint. It's still not enough. Just, just the bed. Are you gonna do a bed? Too? Just no, just the cab. The bed's gonna be black. I'm gonna have to do some things to make it work. Yeah, I was super disappointed with the paint. It was three hundred and thirty dollars. Oh Didn't I'm, I'm figuring out. Yeah. This is awesome. What's his name? Oh, it's a three ninety. It's like Chick Brown's. Uh, Marty would like to see this. This thing's awesome. There's a lot of cars in here. Fancy cars. There's Chad and Jolene over there. I gotta take a picture of this one.
much of it did you just kind of build and style after? Or? I built the whole thing. Okay, so a lot of it just styled after the 60s, 50s, 60s. Yeah, so. yeah. Cool. It's all it's all period parts. Yeah, definitely. Um, the only thing it's oh, newer is the eight inch four. I know. I can do it again. Are they coming over? It's kind of loud. day one Friday here at Syracuse and my truck was selected for designers dozen so I might have to be in the winter circle on Sunday so it looks like I'm gonna be here for three days maybe ish but tomorrow Saturday I got to go I'm here by the dragster area I got to go right around the corner to the designer dozen and display in there and if I get picked for the top 16 then I got to be here Sunday to see a designer dozen they give you a jacket and stuff so that's pretty cool I wasn't expecting that whatsoever just brought a bunch of old junk up here but uh we're gonna, been walking all day. I didn't do too much filming, but got a little bits and pieces. So it was cool when they fired up the dragsters. But we'll uh, see you tomorrow, maybe. I'm running out of battery on my camera, so I might have to consolidate, or make a couple videos, I don't know. This might be a really long Syracuse video. Who knows? We'll figure it out. It's Saturday here. I didn't film much at Syracuse because I got in the designer dozen pick. They picked 120 cars and because my junk is all fancy, I guess I got selected to be in there. I didn't win, but now it's the end of the day. Everybody's leaving, driving by. I got the dragster over here on the trailer. We're just loading up. And uh, friend Marty came up. We got Fred over here from Canada. Just loading up here. A guy came and sold me a Buick nail head intake. Here I scored that dual quads and uh, and some tail lights maybe to put on the dragster uh, trailer so they're pretty cool we're gonna load these up for safe travels like that oops but i'm gonna hit the road here in a little bit and then we'll go from there all right bam so that's it i'm back from syracuse i made it i didn't die it's dark now this model a's out there the trailer's unhooked i got the dragster covered up because i'm gonna need it in a couple days 
Oh, look, I got a new hat. I'll tell you a story about that in the next time. We'll do a Syracuse wrap-up video. I'll show you what I bought, what happened, tell some stories, and then uh, you'll have to wait for that next time. But it was a good trip. I made it back, so uh, stay tuned for the Syracuse wrap-up video coming up next time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again at the Quick Speed Shop. Man, I'm shot, and i got to put a whole bunch of stuff away. i got to go.